We're at Agborough after the Bucks 2-0 loss to Kidderminster Harriers in National League North. Not the best of starts for the new year, but I have boss Rob Edwards with me. Um, Rob, immediate thoughts on that performance today? Disappointing um, to lose the game, but then I think uh, Kidderminster were the better team. Um, I thought there was large spells where we were really in the game, looking quite controlled. Um, but we didn't really hurt them enough until the score was was 2-0 really um, and that was a little bit too late obviously frustration was a conceding the first goal in the manner that we did as well it was disappointing you know we got a pick up in the box and um, conceding the second goal as well was obvious the goals but we were on the counter-attack we got a really good opportunity like a three on three we lose the ball there we were disappointed with that and then to concede within 10 seconds you know I think it was we could have defended that better as well so uh, yeah, fine margins, but they defended their box better than, than we did, and, and that's what it comes down to a lot. OK. Over the course of the two games with Kidderminster over Christmas and New Year, then, how do you feel you've measured up as a side? I think we were more than a match in the first game. I think everyone will agree with that. We had a good game, and I thought individually we looked every bit as good. Today, with the pitch being as it was, I think they've got some real quality. I think they showed that at times and they've got some players with some unpredictability and, and players that can, can, can are great in 1v1 situations and they showed that at times as well um, but at the same time we were very organised and um, and what we need to get better at and improve on at the moment now is having that threat the other way because we're getting into some good areas but then our final ball is letting us down our final decision is letting us down and um, you know, that's that's where we've got to improve now. So is it, was it that little bit of quality in attacking areas that's ultimately been the difference? I think we have that, and that's the thing. Uh, today, it was the difference. They took two opportunities that we sort of gifted to them as well, really. Um, and they didn't gift us anything. We had to earn it, and we didn't quite have, the, uh, have enough to earn it today. But we got into some really good areas, particularly in the first half, and, um, you know, ran the back of their, their full-backs, and then... That final pass wasn't quite good enough. The final cross wasn't good enough. We've got to pick people out. We've got to, you know, got to raise our, our levels when we get to that that position. And um, and we didn't. And then, we, you know, as I said, we huffed and puffed at two 0 We hit the crossbar. Had a couple of good efforts, but but not enough. Okay. You made one change. Uh, one change to the lineup today with uh, Max Leonard back in for Anthony Dwyer. Was there any particular thinking behind that one? Yeah, I felt like I wanted to get Marcus on the on the right hand side because we felt that he could really get at them in that area uh, and he's got the ability then to come inside or outside and I think first half he looked good he isolated their fullback a number of occasions and and and, um, and saying then I think it was that final bit after that and we thought Max could then drift inside against their hold him in field of Crowsdale and, and, and try and get on it coming in on his right foot and try and link up with Sylvan or playing Marcus in with his right foot um, but it didn't really it didn't really pan out that way that was the thinking behind it and um and like I said, I just um, I, I felt there was some good elements, but but not enough of it. And then it came down to them defending their box better than than we did. So, but it, the game is ultimately over Christmas. They've given you some idea of, of more like the level we need to be at more consistently. Uh, yeah, I think we have been consistent um, against Blythe, Brackley, and both games against Kitty, But we've not not come out on top in any of those games, and you know I know that. There's a few draws in there and some very close games, some hard-fought games against some good teams. But we know we need to keep improving. We need to improve quickly because we all want to win. You know, that's ultimately what the game's about. And um, we've got to we've got to get there quickly. We've got to um, yeah, we've got to we've got to find that right balance. We've been talking a lot about a balance at the moment of of attacking and defending, and we need to carry that more of a threat again going forward. And, and but at the same time, taking those risks, taking those um, necessary risk to, to open teams up, which we're talking about a lot and we're working on a lot. We're not quite transmitting it into the games at the moment, but we're looking quite good the other side. So that side of it's good, but now we know we've got to, you know, people want to see goals. I want to see goals. We want to, we want to, we want to score, and that's where we've got to be at the moment. Sure. Um, some tough games coming up in January as well, um, but we won't look too far ahead. Obviously, the next one is Curzon Ashton mm -hmm. on Saturday. Um, I guess in that's a game that you'd be looking at as a, you look at all of them as ones that you want to claim three points from, don't you? Yeah, well, I feel we own one after the away game as well, where I thought we performed well and didn't deserve to lose the game one 0 at all. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll be trying our best again, obviously, to win it. It's at, it's at home. Uh, last few performances at home have been very very good, and we need to take the momentum into into the Curzon game. So we're looking forward to it. 
Uh, players have got to recover right and, and do things properly now. Let's get a good training session in before that and, um, and just go and try and get the three points. In terms of recruitment then, in, in January, is January a worry with a, a transfer window? You know, obviously we, we've got some players that other teams may be interested in and, and obviously you might be wanting to, to look to recruit as well. Well, it's you know well documented. We lost Sheridan in the in the week. Um, Sheridan Martinez in the week. So, uh, goalkeeper is an area that we want to try and bring someone in because we've been, you know, we don't want to work with just the one. And um, and at the moment, that's that's where we're at. I think we need to try and extend Connor Johnson's loan. I think that's going to happen, which will be good. And um, and then of course, as always, we'll we'll keep our ear close to the ground and we'll, we'll see where we can improve if we can. But at the moment. I don't anticipate too much being done. Okay, that's great, Rob. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Cheers. Cheers.